Today I'm experimenting on melting plastic in, in uh, a different concept of doing it. I've seen a, a bunch of different ways on uh, YouTube to melt plastic and uh, basically I didn't really like them. <laughs> so I decided to come up with a, some ideas of my own and this is what we're doing. I decided to try out a uh, new method of me melting plastic. Seems like that dog barks every time I start a video. But anyways, I went to the dollar store and I found this. Uh, it's an Anchor Hawking uh, dish that's good to put in the oven. And so, only got it for three dollars. It's a pie. It's a it's a pie dish, and I decided, well, $3 gamble wouldn't be bad. I want to try it out and see how plastic sticks to glass. I kind of think it don't stick to glass, so I'm going to use um, this dish to see how well it works. And uh, I'll crank this video, this uh, oven up, and uh, try it out. And put it up there for about 20 minutes and come back and see what happens. Okay, I let that plastic melt for about 20 minutes and I turned the oven off and I went somewhere else and, and I let the oven cool completely off. So I uh, after it was completely cooled off, I, I reached inside and I did not know this was going to happen. But that plastic does not stick to glass. Isn't that cool? Pretty cool. So now I have a real way of melting that plastic down and not having to deal with it uh, sticking to whatever pan or whatever I got melting in and I think that is going to be the charm right there since I found out that the um, <clears throat> plastic doesn't stick to glass I'm going to um, melt these tops and bottoms to the bottom uh, that I cut off the milk jugs and see how that works out so we're going to give that a try Well, I mel melted the tops and the bottoms to those uh, milk jugs, and uh, it seems like there's not enough plastic. So I had some more plastic that I've uh, melted. I mean, that I melted in the past, and I've stuck that in there for some extra plastic. And uh, we'll come back and see how that is. Okay, while we're waiting for this stuff to reduce down to a clear pile of goo. Um, I just wanted to let you know that, uh, so far I've, uh, spent about 40 minutes melting this much plastic down. And, uh, if I had done it all at one time, it'd probably have been a little faster. But, anyways, it's a learning curve. Okay. It's uh, almost completely transparent. Just a little bit right in the middle is not um, heated completely. Well, while I'm waiting for it to, to finish melting on down, I'm going to take another Pyrex plate and I'm going to set in right in the middle of that on top. And uh, give it a little while and see if that uh, won't flatten out. And uh, that's what I'm hoping for. It'll flatten out. Okay, after I put that um, cold plate in there on top of that hot plastic, that, where that cold plate met the plastic, it turned back white. 
That means it, it, it tried to harden up on me. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna let it sit there and melt and turn back clear. And uh, the the plastic that wasn't affected don't seem to be squeezing down any by the weight of the uh, that glass pie plate. Okay, after another 10 minutes uh, of putting that cold uh, glass pie plate in the on to the hot plastic, I found out that uh, well it it hadn't completely gotten clear in the middle where it touched it, but the plastic is settling. The plate is settling down, and so it's it's starting to to flatten out some. Uh, I believe what I'm going to do right now, even though it hadn't completely turned transparent in the middle, I'm going to open it up and see if I can't squeeze it a little with my hands. I didn't push down as far as I wanted it to without my, getting my gloves too hot. So I'm going to set it back in and uh, I'm going to put a, a piece of brass in the middle of it to weight it a little more and give it a little more time and see what happens. Okay, I've let this thing cool off for about an hour in the oven. It's still probably hot and uh, I'm going to check on it. Maybe even pull it out of there. Yes, it's still hot. Look, no stick. Well, the bottom is stuck a little bit, but my theory is once it cools off, it can't grip to the glass and it contracts. So once it cools off enough, it'll pop itself loose. Okay, um, I turned the uh, plate upside down, or, or the pie dish, and I'm going to let it cool off right there. And I, I don't see it picking it up on the camera, but what I'm looking at is right around these edges are already starting to let go where it's cooling the fastest evidently and as it cools it'll it'll pop pop off the glass it won't it won't stick to it at all okay well while I was changing batteries in my uh, camera <laughs> wouldn't you know it the thing let go so anyways and it's still really warm too. But look at that shiny finish. Can you see that? Well, I hope you enjoyed my video. And if you liked it, hit the like button. And please subscribe to my channel if this is the first time you've been here. And check out some more of my videos. I plan to put on t at least two videos a week. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>